Hi, I'm Steve from LotPro.com, and today I'll be taking a look at the 2013 Toyota RAV4. Outside, the 2013 RAV4 wears all new sheet metal, while breaking with its heritage in a big way, as the newest generation no longer has a spare tire hanging off its hindquarters. In addition, a top hinge rear hatch has replaced what I've always considered to be an anachronism, the side swinging door that has been part of RAV4 lore since its genesis. As for the body itself, it strikes a nice middle ground. Although not as sculpted as the Ford Escape, it hardly falls into the league of the stylistically challenged Nissan Juke or the ranks of the plain vanilla Mitsubishi Outlander and Nissan Rogue. More specifically, the RAV4's new grille and headlamp enclosures that surround new projector beam headlights give the front end some individuality, while the pronounced shoulder line incorporating the large rear tail lamp enclosures gives both its sides and back a distinctive look. In terms of overall size, Toyota seems to have adhered to the axiom, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Compared to the previous models, its wheelbase remains the same. All RAV4s will now come with the 2.5 aluminum inline four that now produces 176 horses with an identical 172 pound-feet of torque. In redoing the interior, designers and engineers focus on making the cabin look and feel bigger. Carrying over a theme that began with the 2012 Camry, the RAV4 features a soft stitch lower dash panel and, unlike the Klingon inspired designs of many small crossover utes, opts for a much simpler and more straightforward arrangement of buttons and knobs. A counterpoint to all this goodness, however, is the plethora of cheap looking trim pieces, ranging from the metallic strips separating the upper and lower dash and door pulls to the plasticky trim surrounding the instrument binnacle and areas of the center console. The front seats are supportive and nicely bolstered, while in front of the driver, a silver trimmed instrumentation cluster features clear, easy to read gauges. A nice touch is the fact that the center stack flies against current convention and doesn't dominate the rest of the interior. Although it contains a 6.1 inch touchscreen, it is surrounded by a CD slot on top, three buttons on each side, and an HVAC module below, it appears to float in the middle of the dashboard. That, plus a smaller center console, creates a feeling of roominess missing from many vehicles in this class. The new RAV4 feels solid and well planted on the road. Although the short wheelbase means the ride can get a bit busy at times, overall the suspension does a good job of damping out all but the harshest of ruts. It's certainly one of the better handling vehicles in the class, surpassed, in my opinion, only by the Ford Escape and Mazda CX-5. Toyota has also ditched the previous generation's four-speed automatic in favor of a more advanced unit. The new six-speed tranny features first and second gear ratios that are optimized for around town driving, while the fifth and sixth gears are both overdrive to improve highway fuel economy. Manufacturers suggested retail pricing for the 2013 RAV4, including an $845 delivery processing and handling fee, starts at $24,145 for a front wheel drive LE and tops out at over $34,000 for a fully option four wheel drive limited. Although the RAV4 was the first out of the starting block, Toyota appears to have become complacent in the intervening years as the all new model only manages to land just above the middle of the pack in terms of its overall performance. But the fact of the matter is that many buyers in this segment are more interested in reliability and resale value, two areas that Toyota excels in. Well there you have it, the 2013 Toyota RAV4. I'm Steve from LotPro.com, have a great day.